saved i love the lord very much and i'm the eps of this wonderful organization i'd firstly love to thank the kev chairperson for granting me this grace so that i can come and share the word of god with you so i will talk about endurance so we know that we've been dealing with the topic or with the theme of being called to sonship we've been dealing with the theme of being called to to be the sons of God rather than to religion because of the lessons that we got we, um, we were taught that it would see um, actually being called to religion it actually limits us but only if we are the sons of God that's whereby we even you know prosper in each and everything that we do because it's a time or it's a phase and um, in someone's else life whereby they just have that constant relationship with the father a constant relationship with God so we really thank God for using Abantwanabake so that they can come so that um, they can come and you know teach us with the wonderful messages that um, they shared to us so I will talk about endurance as I did mention so I'd like us to go to the book of Revelations chapter 3 verse 8 and 10 so verse 8 it says i know your deeds see i have placed before you an open door that no one can shut i know that you have little strength yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name verse 10 says since you have kept my command to endure patiently i'll also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful word. We thank you, Father. Father, you are so great. Father, there is no one like you. I pray that, Father, you may help me, Father, to rightly divide your word. I pray that, Father, may not use my intelligence. I pray that I should not use my own knowledge, but then I should rely on the Holy Spirit with each and everything that I'm going to say. Father, please anoint my lips in the name of Jesus. Father, please give me strength, Father, to stand and to testify about the good works that, Father, you've done in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, and Father, we give you all the glory and the honor because it all belongs to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, as I did... Um, mentioned that um my that my message is just will be centered around what is found in um the book of revelations chapter 3 verse 8 and 10 so now as we did read um here we found that would seem god is saying that i know your deeds you know this means that would see god um he knows our deeds he knows the things that we used to do you know he knows um, our work he knows our love for him he knows everything and as he knows like this um he said that um he he also knows something about us that um above all yes he does know our work he does our, know our zeal for him he does know our love for him he he does know that you know we give to him generously he he does know that we, we serve him we do everything for him and then another thing that he knows is one he knows that we have a little strength or we have little strength you know so there are situations there are, se there are season in life there are seasons in life which will cost us to lose our strength in the lord because of we know that we must not have we must not have a half strength but then we must always be full 
in the Lord. But then there are seasons, there are times whereby when they come into our lives, they will cost us to lose a little bit of a strength. And then one thing about God, one thing wonderful about this father is that he knows that we have little strength. Yes, he does know our deeds. He does know that we love him. He does know that, you know, we've been, you know, working out there, proclaiming his, um, you know, the, 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 the good works, his good works, the good message and whatnot, you know. And another thing is that he knows that we have little strength. And he said that, would he, yet, yet we have kept his word and not denied his name. So God is so happy about something that, even though we have that little strength, we didn't deny his name. We have kept his word. Those are two things that God is so happy about that even if you are facing, you know, a very dark season of your life, he is happy about something. He is so happy about those two things that you didn't deny and that you have kept his word in your heart. And then verse 10, it says that, since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the, on the world to test the inhabitants of this earth. So now God is saying that since we have kept his command, since we have enjoyed patiently, since we have kept his word, since we didn't deny him, He's also going to keep us from the trial, from, from the trials, from the tribulations, from whatever that is happening in this age. Whatever that is going to come down to the inhabitants of this age, God is going to God is going to keep you. So this verse is is trying to imply that yes, um, you know, you know, um seasons are gonna come, you know, darkness is gonna come. And trials are gonna come, tribulations are gonna come, each and everything is gonna it's gonna it's gonna come for everyone who is in this earth. But then those who trust in the Lord, those who do not who do not deny the Lord, those who keeps his commands, those who place the word of God in their hearts, the Lord will also keep them. The Lord will also be with them. Hallelujah. So now we are living in the last days which are so evil whereby where people deny the existence of God like that's just you know we know that we we have classmates we have even other courses um which have philosophers um who maybe proposed that idea that that God does not exist we even um you know there's even an extent when it comes to media there's even an extent when it comes to things that we watch things that we listen to all over in the earth you know people are just denying one thing the existence of god they are they are just denying everything that you know what we come from the stars and there was this there was this theory and whatnot people are just denying god you know and um and as um, we know that, Ubuti, there are so many people whom we have started this journey with. You know, I remember um, when I got saved, I had a friend and we actually like took the decision together. Ubuti, you know what? Let us go and say that um, we accept the Lord the, like as our Lord and Savior and whatnot. We went there together. But then right now she's no longer saved. Right now she's living the life that, um, you know, that she is living. I'm not condemning anyone, but I'm just saying that there are people that whom that we started the journey along with. But then today they are not where they were supposed to be. Hallelujah. So now, so now, um, we, 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 we are in a season or we are in a time whereby the word of god is even wrongly divided 
you know, our brother who gift um, when he shared, he shared about that. Uguti, in the last days, there are gonna be, um, there will be scoffers of the word. You know, people are going to wrongly divide the word of God because um, he he he, he mentioned the issue that Uguti, now we are no longer winning the hearts of the people for God, but then we are winning the hearts of the people for ourselves. And some of the days we don't even want to speak the honest truth because of we want to find favor in people rather than finding favor in God. These are the times whereby we, 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 we compromise about the good gospel, about the good truth whereby we are like you know what and um, because of the church membership therefore let's not speak or let's not preach the whole truth and then not actually realizing that people are dying with that not realizing that Ubuti and um, you know uh, uh, people are not gaining anything from that because what you are only giving them it's whatever that they want to hear it's not what God wants them to hear but then you are just giving them whatever that they want to hear because of you are scared, Wuti. Once you speak the honest truth, they're gonna be like, oh no, you make uh, maybe um you know um you are just there or you may you are just making yourself to be better than anyone. It's whereby we have you know um churches they have their own doctrines doctrines that are not even in line with the word of God doctrines that do not even support what the word of God is saying so there's one thing there's you know when I'm just like thinking about this whole thing there is just one thing that I'm just so happy about is that we go to Tina as we are Christians Tina as we are the sons of God Tina as we are called into sonship rather than to religion there is one thing that we know we are not scared about whatever that is happening. We are not even terrified. We are not even amazed to go to why this is happening, why that is happening, because whatever that is happening, it has been documented way in the Bible. It has been documented in the word of God. Prophets did prophesy about whatever, whatever that is happening now. It has been prophesied. So therefore, see now we are not amazed. Tina, we are not even, you know, terrified about whatever that is happening because we know that Uti, with whatever that is happening, scriptures are fulfilled. We just know that whatever that is happening, if we see, you know, um, like bad things being done in the temple of God, in the house of the Lord, we know that, you know, scriptures are fulfilled are being fulfilled in each and every um in each and every way so now with the scripture that we read you know god saw that we have little strength but even if we had that little strength we kept his word we didn't deny him you know there are situations as i did mention that we would see those situations they will force us or they will make us to actually deny his existence there are situations, there are seasons that are going to come that are going to make you to actually be like, you know what, I think that God is not alive. But God is actually happy about something that would see, even if those seasons they came, you didn't do that. You didn't deny his existence. But then, instead of deny, denying him, he actually kept his word. Hallelujah. He kept his word and God is just so happy about that because there's a time whereby Ujesu said um, the man or like he said men shall not live on bread alone but from every word that comes from God from every word that comes from God we shall not live on bread alone but then we shall live on every single word that God has said we shall live on that this means that the word of God is so very much important in our lives the word of God is so important because it tells us actually what is God saying with our lives 
and then we remember that we would see you know in the bible also the bible says that we would see the words that i have spoken to you are full of power and are full of spirit <laughs> whenever we're gonna find a word from god the word of god does not discourage us but then instead it encourages us the word of god even if um you know the situation tells tells you that which you are weak but the word of god it says it says that you are actually stronger you are actually a, you know even if you know situations or people are laughing are saying that you are poor but the word of god it says that you are rich hallelujah so the word of god is so important it's so important as the sons of god oguti to know what is god saying with our lives we need to know oguti what is the bible saying what is god actually saying because of if we miss whatever that god is saying in our lives we will go all around looking for whatever that god is saying ubantu and we are not supposed to do that yes it's good to go and listen to the other person telling you what what god is saying but then there is a danger in that relying on on a person to tell you what god is saying there is a danger because of another person can can come and still lie and be like god said this but no god didn't say that you know i love um you know the people that paul used to go to um and preach to them after each and every discussion after each and every sermon they will go back to their homes to their houses and actually sit down and check the word of god over to what over to whatever that paul said and whatever that um the bible is saying i i i i i two different things or are the same things because of we find many people you know the messages are distorted the bible on its own is just distorted so we need to we 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 need the kind of people who are going to know the word of god we need the kind of people who are going to keep the word of god in their in their hearts hallelujah so now um there's something that i'm really inspired by this um you know by by david david the time he was um you know he was young or as like he was growing up he said um there's this um one time um he said um i have hidden your word in my heart so that i cannot sin or so that i may not sin against you because there's something that happens if you didn't keep the word of god in your heart there's a possibility that you um that that you just deny him there's a possibility that you just you know you know just you no know, don't believe in him or be, don't believe even in his existence because that is sin actually sin is unbelief that's just a simplest way on how i can define sin so sin is unbelief so once a person actually starts to um to to to, to believe what you know what god is not alive that person has sinned so now the only thing that can keep us from sin is only one thing is this the word of god only if we know what what god is saying in his word that thing it will make us to run away from sin and actually when uh, you know the devil wants to um temper with whatever but then only if we know the word of god we won't even give him in dawo we won't even give him that space for him to come in and actually we are going to be in an argument with him and when he says that you know what you are weak i'm going to be like oh no the word of god says i'm stronger or oh, the word of god says i'm strong if the devil comes and say that ah uh, when i are a failure i'm i'm just going to say i'm and be like you know what i'm a winner you know this the, the 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 courage we won't take it from anyone but then this courage will take it from the word of god and you won't know the word of god if you are still relying on people's sermons you won't know the word of god if you are still relying on you know on just attending church and then that's all but then you will know the word of god only if you sit down if you give yourself time 
and study his word so that you will know or would see what is God is saying in our lives. Hallelujah. So in order for us to keep the faith and do not sin or do not deny the existence of God, we really need to eat the word of God. We need to seek him. We need to be in a constant fellowship, a constant relationship with him. We need to search out the matter because in the book of Proverbs chapter, um, I believe it's chapter 25 verse 2, it says that, would he, um, you know, for it is the glory of the kings to search out the matter, but then it is the glory of God to conceal the matter. That means the matter is there. That means revelations are there. Mysteries are there. Everything is there. But then God has concealed everything therefore it's our duty as we are kings we are kings in this kingdom Bazalwan. that means it's our duty to actually to go out there and search out the matter you know this thing of just sitting down and re relying on the youtube sermons and whatnot yes that is good that is good but then we need to search out the matter for uh, for ourselves because um gotcha, gotcha, you know like it like there's no benefit in hearing someone else's vision about whatever verse or what you need to know you need to get the revelations these are the last times whereby um you know you know amos he he, he did say that within the last days daughters sons are gonna prophesy are gonna see visions are gonna have dreams and whatnot are you dreaming when last did you dream when last did, did God give you a, a, a revelation? When last did you even search out the matter? When last did you give yourself time and be like, God, I am seeking, I want to see the hidden mysteries. When last did you do that? We need to really give ourselves time. We need to seek the Lord. We need to know see what is God saying? with our lives hallelujah so we need to patiently enjoy as um you know the book of um revelations chapter 3 verse, uh, verse 10 it has stated it said that um so like we need to enjoy patiently at all times because if we enjoy god will also keep us you know from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole world you know and one thing about this hour of trial is that it's going to come to all of the inhabitants of the earth whether you are saved whether you are not saved whether um maybe you've backslided or what but then this hour of trial is going to come to all of the inhabitants of this um of this what of this earth of this earth sorry so now we need to enjoy patiently we need to enjoy patiently we need to know what God is saying with our lives in each and every season. Whether we think that he is not there, whether we think that he's present, whether or not, but then we need to seek, we need to find over to what is God saying. When things are not going according to how I've planned, I need to find over to what God is saying there. Unfortunately, that I, can, I cannot find on Google, that I cannot find on YouTube. But then where I can only find that it's when I seek him in, in, in my own thing. The, 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 this is just, you know, the nicest thing about having the relationship with the father. This is the nicest thing about being the son. Because if we are called to religion, we are limited to where we can worship God, number one. We are limited with the time. Or would he, you worship God from this hour to this hour. You worship God on this certain day. You know, th those are just the dangers of being called to religion than of being called to sonship. So, you know, God reveals each and everything. But then revelations, mysteries are only to be revealed will, or will be only revealed to those who seek. So now we need to seek the Lord in each and everything. And then in even in times of trouble, we need to have a joyful confidence, knowing that, you know, 
God is just trying to develop some things in us. We just need to know that Ubuti, whatever that is happening in this season, even if, even if I have that little faith or that little strength, but then God is developing something. God is developing something in us. So, so that you will know Ubuti, what God is developing in that certain season or in that certain situation, you need to seek him. You need to know Ubuti, what God is saying. And we need to endure patiently. God's time is the best. Even if people may laugh and be like, oh, you have sinned. Oh, maybe umkubi lungulungulu or whatnot. Just don't mind them. Just go in the secret place where you're going to meet your God, where you're going to meet your Father, where are you going to submit everything to Him and be like, here, Lord, I am. So this is the message that I have, that let us enjoy patiently. Let us enjoy patiently. And then the only thing that will keep us away from sin is knowing His word. His word is so powerful. His word is him, himself, actually. We need to know over to what God is saying with our lives. This thing of going to the people, you know, finding out to go see, what are you saying with my... Yes, that's not a bad thing. Finding out to go to what people are saying with, their, with your life. That's so great. That's so nice. That is wow. But then... We really need to find out Uguti, what God is saying. Oguti, you know, um, th- there's a time whereby Uches was asking his disciples, Uguti, um, you know, people are saying, Uguti, I'm so and so and so, I'm so and so and so. When, uh, who am I? Who am I? So we really need to go to God and ask him that question, Uguti, yes. People are saying that I'm this. People are saying that I'm that, I'm that. But God, who am I? Because we can only find our identity in Him. We can only find our identity in Christ. Can we close our eyes? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful message. We thank you. Father, we should enjoy patiently. Therefore, Father, we pray that, Father, we should keep your word. We pray that, Father, you may be with us. Father, you are good. There is no one like you. Father, in each and every situation that, Father, we come across, we know that, Father, you want to develop a character. Even if, Father, situations, Father, our surroundings are saying that there is no God. But then, Father, Tina, we should not forget that. We should not even, Father, be fooled by what the world is saying. We pray that. That, Father, you may strengthen us for those who, who, who started the journey with us. But today, Gosiam Baba, they are no longer in this journey, they are no longer Gosiam Baba in a constant relationship with you. Father, we are praying for them. We are praying that Father, you may give them strength because Father Gosiam Baba, you said, Father, you have seen that Father, we have little strength. That means, Father, even if Father, we have a little strength, Father, you are able to give us more. You are able, Father Gosiam Baba, to increase us. Father, we are able, Father, to give us the power that we need in order, Father, to endure patiently. Father, Baba, please keep us in the name of Jesus. As, Father, you have promised us, would be the ones who are going to keep, the ones who are going, uh, who are going, um, to keep your word and not deny your, your name you are going to keep them from the hour of trial that is going to come down to all of the inhibitants the inhibitants of this age father we pray that father Ngosamaba, you may keep us we pray that father you may be with us we pray father for our families father be with us in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen